we are coming up for the Euro Cup draw. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And then we will get into match action afterwards. All right, we've been drawn as a third seed, so let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and draw out group the first seeds. So I don't believe we can be in with Newcastle, right? I think that's how it works. So we can't be in group E. There's group two. All right, so we should be in this group along with Schalke, Getafe. Let's see. I wouldn't mind being in this group. No. I'd like to stay away from that one. Probably like to stay away from that one. And that's the one we land in. So Ajax will probably be tough. Ingolitz, I'm not sure how good they are. But let's go ahead and finish this out. And the last team is going to be Metz from France. So there we are. Group D. There we go. We have made a little bit of transfer business. So let me catch you up on that right now. It's all loan action. So Esser, Falsettini, a couple of new players. We did sign three new guys uh, since the last time we looked. Ayari, I think you guys might have seen him, but let's take a look. He comes. Oh, he comes in from Mets. So that's who's in our group. So they bought him. Uh, we bought him for four point one. We've loaned him out to Swansea uh, for the season. Uh, P, uh, and he's a central midfielder, defensive midfielder. Uh, we are going to, you know, he's got really good heading for right now. So he's going to be in the center back mix for us. Piero de Mano from Milan for 1.9. We've loaned him out to Hull already because he wasn't going to do anything for us. Another center back, six foot three. Again, very good physicals. Heading, marking, tackling are all solid. Just needs to develop a little bit. And we just spent six and a half million on David Kelly because he's English. Uh, so we do have a decided lack of English talent on the club, as I have sold too many of them. And so we're actually keeping some players that really aren't going to be in the first team, but I, I need them for numbers. Uh, and we're going to have to really start compiling English players. If you guys have any tips on how to get more English players for less money, I am uh, definitely open to uh, hearing. Now he's a midfielder. He's not bad. He is five foot three, so that's shorter than my wife. <laughs> and uh, but he can pass the ball first touch. He's not going to start three and a half star potential. I only signed him because he was English. That was it. That was the only reason. So uh, that brings our net spin for the season to 49 and a half, outgoing 134 incoming. So finances are looking pretty solid. We're up to 132 million. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, let me get moving on. Uh, if we check the schedule, don't know when the FA Cup starts. Oh, 920. Okay. So that hasn't changed. So that should be coming up uh, here in the next few weeks. So that's what I project to come back for. And we'll either have a league highlight or the Carabao Cup highlights uh, when we get to that point. Euro Cup is going to be coming up today with our opening match against Ajax. We'll also have highlights against Stoke. Don't forget, if you like what I'm doing to support the channel, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new for daily football manager content Monday through Saturday. Thank you so much. After the draw with Liverpool, we did lose 3-1 to Tottenham. Fred Mpasi got a stoppage time goal in the first half for his first goal uh, with the club. Then we beat West Brom 2-0. Noel Mark and Aaron Fowler came off a set piece for the 2-0 victory. And then a 3-0 clean sheet over Norwich. Uh, Pascarello got a goal. Mark with his second of the season. And Melvin Gerver got a start in this one and scored on the set piece. So we're going to have highlights against Stoke, and then we'll play Ajax on camera today. And then we'll probably come back for, I'm thinking maybe a double Euro Cup match. The following episode, we'll play Rothram 
I'm sorry, um, Mets, and then have Ingolette's highlights, possibly, is what we'll do. So let's get into the highlights. We came out in our standard 3-4-3. Three, three. Mapasi got in and then crossed the keeper up for a goal. That's his second of the season and a brilliant move by him. Minutes later, a quick half volley by Dickinson equalized for Stoke. Ruiz finds Albach on a run in the channel, and that puts Stoke up 2-1 to one in the 44th minute. Romain would score on a penalty in the 74th minute to equalize, making it 2-2, and Romain would get his second penalty for the game winner. Leicester 3, Stoke 2, two penalty kicks for Jamie Romain, and a great outing for him. All right, for the Ajax match here in the Euro Cup, we're going to go with Solis in goal, the back line of Hilden, Licka, and Fowler. Baffer on the left, Pascarello gets the start today on the right, Felipe in the mid. We're going to let M Mapasi move back to the mid because uh, he's just been in good form lately. If we take a look, he's playing a 7-1-2, two. two goals as well. And uh, if we take a look, it's uh, Jasufi playing a 6-7 with no goals in five. So just uh, trying to get some more attacking on the field. So Mapasi and Felipe in the mid, Romain up in the number 10, Graves and Mark at the top of the formation. Let's get into the match. We are slight favorites, which is a little surprising, but they did tell us in the emails that FC Mets is supposed to be the team to beat. Let's keep them composed. We're playing at Ajax, it appears. Big stadium. Triple decker. All right, we're going to ask for some encouragement here. They do get the first highlight. Pascarello clears it out. Mark makes the run onto it. He squares it in. It's Graves, and Graves finishes it. His first goal of the season. He's missed a couple of games. Uh, he's had two separate little niggling injuries, so he's missed. I think he started the first match, and then that was it. He's been mostly out uh, since then. So good to see him get on the score sheet. Mark picks him out. Good one touch. Cuts the angle on it and puts it home at the near post. Got to like that. And that makes it Lester 1, Ajax 0 on the road. That is a huge, huge lead for us. Romain tracks down the clearance. He's back into the box. Squared in, and it's hoofed out. We'll take the corner out of that. Twelfth minute of action. Looks like Ingolets and Mets are at a draw. And there's a header by Aaron Fowler into the back of the net. That's his second of the season. What a set-piece goal by Fowler. I believe he's our captain this year. We had to change captains with some of the moves that we made, and I think he is our captain. Pretty sure. But that's very good. We've got seven shots. Ajax still looking for their first shot of the game. We're in the 25th minute of action. Certainly can't complain about that. There's another header that just goes a little wide of the mark. Six of our 12 on target. And we are looking a threat. There's Felipe. Oh, he pings out a pass to Mark. And he crosses the keeper up, and that's his third. Felipe with a beautiful assist over the top. What vision. And that makes it Lester three. Ajax nil. And we are putting them to the sword, it would appear. And we've got another scoring opportunity. Ball goes high off another set piece. But it's 3-0. We are just nearing the half. And they have finally gotten two shots, and both of them on target. You know, I'm recording this on Sunday, and of course, uh, as a Leeds fan, we learned yesterday against Man City, all you need is two shots. Because if they're both on target and they both go in the net, you can win a match 2-1. to one against the top team in the league. Uh, let's tell them uh, about composure. 
staying focused. We are going to give them some praise here. All right, a throw in. That's going to be intercepted by Pascarello. It's into Romaine. Felipe. Oh, here we go with Impasse. All right, come on. We're still looking to build here. Mapasi, Romaine. Oh, there's a beautiful through ball. Pascarello cannot find the finish, however. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do a sub. I'm looking at uh, Mapasi. He's only playing a 6-3, so let's go ahead and yank him. Let's bring on George Alexander. He's our lone player that came back this year. And everybody else is playing fine, aren't they? If I pull Pascarello, we could bring Menza on. Let's do that. Get some fresh legs on the wing out there. Oh, and Baffert just went, <laughs> he just went tits up, didn't he? Could have done that about five seconds earlier there, buddy. Oh, nice control by Fred at Freddy's. Solis with the save. All right, let's, uh, let's praise him again. And Aaron Fowler, he gets a second goal in the match off a set piece. He's looking good off of those corners. Got to like that. Coming in near post and just beats it past Lucasen. And that is Lester 4, Ajax nil. And I don't think that we're going to be in any threat in this one now. I don't think we concede five goals. We could give up one. And we do. That was interesting. I'm going to watch the replay on that because I saw the cross, but it looked like it went in off the crossbar and then just bounced in barely over the line. Those are, those are cool finishes in real life, aren't they? Uh, looks like it went off of Solis's hands, off the crossbar, and just over the line. That's disappointing. All right, let's go ahead and pull our last sub here. Uh, Baffer is tired. I don't really have anybody that can play over there. Uh, you know what? We can bring Romaine out there, and then we can bring on Cesar. Let's do that. Now, with Romaine, he's right-footed, so I want to move him to an inverted winger. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. No, we're not going to do that. Winger on attack. We're going to swap Menza out there. There we go. Try to use some of that managerial knowledge. That could be dangerous. All right, we're going to praise him again, try to keep him focused. Four to one advantage. 87th minute. There's a ball out to Muhammad. Couple of deflections. That one gets cleared finally. Flick on header. Can Graves get to it? He does. He holds it up. Oh, and he is just stomped on. Oh, he's got to be sent off, and he's not. Did he even get a card? Okay, I think he got a card. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't even looking at the play. I was trying to figure out if the guy got carded or not. He should have been sent off. That was ugly. All right, that one's headed out. Romaine gets a late break, allowing Piers to get to the ball first. That one's crossed in. Oh, Ramos with a nice run, but Solis holds on to that ball. Boy, if he would have bobbled that in the least, it would have been in the net. But that is a 4-1 victory over Ajax. We've got to say that's a good win. Keep the boys motivated. Fantastic result, defended well, attacked well, a brilliant all-around performance. Thank you, L Lamar Duckmanton and Eliza Washburn. Decent result, decent match, on to the next one. Only decent for Eliza. She's a pretty demanding fan there. All right, well, let's get into it. So we are top of the table uh, with goal differential. Looks like uh, the other game did get a victory. We get 670,000. 
And it looks like, yeah, Ingolitz did end up winning. Looks like 1-0. So they stay up there. And Aaron Fowler with two goals on five and five headers. He just had a nice all-around game. Very good for him. All right. So we're on a good run of form. We've got that one loss. In competitions, we're currently in fifth, which is where we finished last year, only two points behind Man City, and already seven points clear of Middlesbrough. So we've got a three-match advantage, basically, uh, already in the early going of the season. We're top of the table in the Cup, and we do have FA Cup action coming. I'm not going to worry about the Carabao this season, at least not until we're out of maybe the other cup matches. So I'm going to go through these. We'll come back. We'll play FC Mets and Ingolets. We'll probably do Mets highlights. And then uh, we'll play Ingolets uh, on camera. I'll do Leeds and Everton off camera, and we'll catch you guys up on those scores. Remember to hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content Monday through Saturday. And we will see you guys next episode. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.